Right, here we are then sports fans. Welcome back to the channel. Something a little exciting today. First of all, what idiot leaves a window open? Whose truck that is? Anyway, we are here at DMR HQ. I've brought the DMR and in today's video, we're gonna install the new TRP drivetrain and brakes. Now, luckily or unluckily, I bent my mech the other day. Oh no, I've written my mech off. Perfect timing because we want to try the new TRP system. Let's go check it out. Right, there's the packing office. And here's the workshop, which is where we're going. So we've dropped the bike off. The next time we see this, hopefully it should have the new TRP drivetrain and some lovely DHR brakes. There's uh, Ollie's best friend, but no Ollie. So if you can guess, we're here at the DMR headquarters. Okay. We've obviously got the original DMR trail start and loads of funky bits. So we've left our bike with the guys at DMR. They're gonna give it some love with some new Evo brakes and new drivetrain. We've obviously got fresh hoodie t-shirt. Let's go grab some lunch. We're going in the G-Wagon for a bit of lunch, aren't we? Golding Barn Estate. So we've come to Golding Barn Estate. I have no idea what's here. Why are we coming here, Rolls? Secret, mate. So yeah, the guys at DMR brought me here for some obscure reason. Let's see what it's about. Oi, oi! Give us a double there, look. Oh, you prick. <laughs> Do you want a slap? Do you want a slap? <laughs> so this is where DMR started. Unit 9F. What are you thinking, Matt, about this? It's kind of weird. Not been here for a while. Look at that. I don't think any of that's mine. <laughs> right, Ollie, where are we now then? Hydroponics exhaust. So where's it, where are we now? Okay, so we're currently <laughs> at the old headquarters DMR from this year to this year, which you're going to enter later once you've researched it and found out. <laughs> and who are they for? The legends of DMR. The legends of DMR. Ma, ma. So we have now found ourselves back at the new upgrade site and hopefully we're going to find my new bike or my new bike new brakes on my dmr sled let's check it <laughs> so good and there we are look at them things look we've got the new dhr evos on there as well as that, we've got the 12 speed on that. Looking sick. There we go. We have now got the beast. We've got the new Evo brakes on. We've got 12 speed TRP mech on. Let's go give it a little try out somewhere. In the middle of driving back from DMR HQ and I've stopped off on the way back home to try out these little bad boys. So that is obviously the 12 speed shifter and mech and the brand new Evo brake. So there's a nice blue run here, nice and steady to bed these things in. And I think there's a little skills area as well. So let's go check it out. May as well try a little Manny out, see how we get on. Oh yeah. So straight away, I haven't really bedded them in, but might as well see how much, how much we can give them. We've got a nice easy blue trail. We're coming in halfway round now because I'm too stingy to pay for car parking. It's just nice easy blue run, which is actually super ideal just for bedding everything in, making sure that the gears are working correctly. So it's actually an ideal route for little things like adjusting the shifter, just to make sure we've got the right reach on the thumb, the finger and all that good stuff. Nothing tech here at all. I know there's a little gap here. Look at the evening sun. What a day. Well, it's certainly not a techie trail, but it's ideal to get to grips with you know, new products, new brakes, new shifter, just so you're sort of used to them a bit more. Yeah, oh, there we go. So actually straight away, the one thing I'm noticing is the lever, the lever on these is far more sort of bladey, I guess, thinner and it's a bit nicer to grab hold of. It's obviously quite hard to tell on an easy blue run, but you know, the whole reason as we said is we're doing this blue run to bed them in ready for the steeper stuff in a minute. As I do a wheelie, check out how uh, powerful the rear brake is. Constantly feathering it. So the bite is actually a bit better than the old ones, if I'm being totally honest. So if we look at my hands, hardly anything to it. 
What a lovely evening for it. So a lot of people will laugh about this. This is the only climb on the hill. Not really that testing at all, but we just get used to changing gears. Cool thing straight away with this shifter. Obviously downshifting to make it harder is one click. If I suddenly came into a corner and needed an easier gear, you can see I can sort of almost do three uh, changes at a time. So it is a very, very flat track, I'm not gonna lie. It's very good for fitness. Ideal for bedding the brakes in, checking the shifters. I've actually gone up in rotor size on this bike as well. So the old ones were 180 front and rear. Now I've actually got a 203 on the front. So it's actually the same size as my downhill bike. So you can imagine the stopping power. It is a trail bike designed to get to the top of the hill and have a lot of fun on the downhills. Yes, I'm adding a bit of extra weight, but the braking difference just so I can carry a bit more speed into stuff and know that the brakes are gonna be super good because they're not overheating. See, loads of little tight turns, which are ideal just to make sure these brakes work real well. Right, there we go. We've smashed the little blue run. We've had enough of that. Let's go up to the, uh, the more extreme side. So we've done the blue run, as you guys saw. There's nothing testing in there. It's just a flat, easy going trail. You probably get around there on the road bike, but as we've alluded to, the whole reason we did that is just to get dust in the pads, just to make sure the brakes are biting well. All the niggly, horrible stuff that normally happens when you get brand new uh, parts. Let's check out the more extreme side. And when I say extreme, it's not really that extreme. Okay, so we've got to the bike part side. There's a couple of little tabletops. We might as well give them a quick rouse, see how they get on. Not that it's really going to show us how much these brakes work until the end of the section, but let's give it a go. That's right. Okay, so probably not the best camera angle. It obviously showed the brakes in action, but not really what happened other than the, the other rider getting in my way, but oh well. There's me saying this place is super flat and we don't really need the brakes. Well, as you saw then with that guy just dropping in in front of me, you sort of do and i can assure you they do work very very well we're just going to try one thing that i've always wanted to do we've obviously just jumped them straight we're just going to try and manual them so hopefully what that does is it shows you guys that the brake's super sensitive for feathering and it shows myself that maybe i can actually manual through all three of these tabletops i very much doubt it will happen but let's give it a go There's a little pump track now, just give that a little bash and then we go up to the jumps again. More shenanigans. Let's give him another go then. We have tested the brakes. I guess we're gonna to have to test the shifter a bit now. So to start things off, I won't be able to talk because we're gonna be climbing up hills. Quite a steep climb. Another track to test everything out now. So obviously quick shift in, brakes. Same again, not massive gradient. But there's a bit more, a bit of braking going round. Oh, corners, loose corners. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, they work pretty good now. Now there's some dust in there. That was a bit of a strange day, if I'm totally honest, driving all the way to Upgrade Bikes, AKA DMR, to obviously get the new TRP brakes and also shifter on there. So it's been a long, tiresome day. And on the way home, we've obviously stopped off at this place. Nothing technical, but obviously ideal just to bed everything in. So as you guys can see, you know, there wasn't anything stupidly steep, but there was riders cutting in front of me, so I had to brake pretty hard for that. So these are obviously the TRP DHR Evos. They're slightly more powerful than the old ones. And the reason being, I would say, is the fact that we've got thicker rotors now. So on this particular bike, we've got a 203 rotor on the front. And previously I had a 180. As well as that, the lever blade itself is a lot neater. The actual blade feels a lot nicer in your finger because it's smaller. The older ones, I guess, if 
if you came from moto probably felt quite good but you know i've never really ridden a motocross bike so i found that really handy same again with the reach adjustment all that good stuff super super good yes it's hard to tell on a place like today we've ridden you know they're ideal for bedding in but there's nothing steep and gnarly so we will be throwing some more stuff at them the caliper as you can see it's very much the same it's just taking a color change from my old one so rather than black we've got epic chrome so the gears this is the trp tr12 so previously on this bike i've run shimano obviously i've had trp on my downhill bike all year and that's been super super good got 12 speed on the rear now and you know from the small test that i've done now really really sick obviously the tr12 shifter one thing i have actually changed is the positioning on this lever here so basically means that you can adjust the thumb thumb position and obviously like any normal lever you can adjust where it sits one other thing that i noticed with this shifter is the fact when you're going down super super nice simple click but likewise, when you want to come up the gear, so aka an easier gear, you can also do two or three shifts at a time. So that's super handy to know when you come out of a turn, you've got like a little uphill or whatever. So that's super sick. A very different day today where we've gone to DMR to obviously fit these brakes, fit the shifter and have a little insight into DMR itself. A little surprise for you guys as well as me. Um, not really much else to say. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, slightly different to normal. Be great if you give it a thumbs up. Be sick if you subscribe. And until the next one, I shall see you guys in a bit. Oi, oi.